Spectre lets you export Rust types to other languages and toolkits. Currently, only Rust to TypeScript is supported, but if you go to their repo, you'll see they have a bunch of packages in the works for other things. For example, Zod, so you can export a Zod schema from your Rust type, so use that in TypeScript. Uh, they've got language support like Go, Kotlin. And another one I'm really excited about is this OpenAPI package where you can take your Rust types and build a OpenAPI schema from it. So, like I said, only TypeScript is supported. All of these are in development, but you can bet your binoculars that I'll make a video once these are a little more fleshed out and established. Also, it's worth remembering that developers are people too. So just to shed some light on my fellow cave dwellers, I wanted to point out the two main contributors, which are Oscar Beaumont and Brendan Allen. You might have seen them before working on other packages, for example, RSPC, which is basically TRPC for Rust, Prisma Client Rust, which gives you Rust bindings for Prisma. And they also work on Space Drive, which is a cross-platform file explorer. I'm in a fresh cargo project now. I just ran cargo new spec to underscore demo. And all I did was empty out the body of the main function. That's the only change I made so far. We're going to start by adding Specta itself. So that's just cargo add Specta. And you want to make sure to add this features flag for any features you're using in Specta. Currently, only TypeScript is supported again. So this is the only feature flag you can use, but this will change the future. So make sure you update this to whatever you're working with once those are supported, if you want to use other features. So I'm going to run this. And if we go to cargo Tamil, we'll see that it installed version 1.0.5 for me. I'm going to start by building out some simple Rust types. I'm just going to start with a struct called person. Uh, they'll have a name, which will be a string. Oh, I'll make this public so that we don't get warnings. And then I will also give them an age. U8 should be, should be good. And I also want to demonstrate an enum being exported to TypeScript. So I'll make an enum called hair color. Probably see where this is going. We'll do blonde, black, brown. Keep it simple. And hook this up. We'll do hair color. That'll be a hair color enum. Okay. Now I already know I'm gonna import or use. Actually, I'll I'll show you the automatic import. So to these are just regular Rust types, of course. And to flag that we want to export them with Specta. We can derive from type, which comes from Specta. So if I press control period, import Specta type, we'll do it on both these. Okay. Just simply with this, we can start exporting these types straight to TypeScript. We're going to start by storing these in a variable for each of them. So I'll just do out person for the person struct. And we're going to use this module from Specta called TS import import that and this comes with the export function this is exactly what we need to export the types and tell it it's for person and then we'll just pass it the default value uh, default and then unwrap we'll do the same thing for the enum out here color the code is almost exactly the same of course Of course, this is verbose code. You could simplify this quite a bit if you had a bunch of types to export. Okay, so now we have these, which will be the exports for each of the types. These, these variables will be the exports. And what we need to do next is write them to a file. So I'm just going to make a new variable here called lines to write. And I like this pattern of taking the lines of this output and chaining them together into a vector. So you can do that by doing out person dot line or what is it yeah dot, dot lines actually dot chain and then you can chain it with the other one out hair color dot lines and then simply collect this into a vector and we'll call it uh just do this easy that should do it whoops silly it's always silly mistakes right this is why type systems are awesome though now to actually export this to a file, Specta comes with uh, exporters, but I haven't really, I don't have experience with them. So I'm just going to use the built-in standard library write function. This works just fine. 
So I'll pass the, the file name, I'll just call it output.ts. And then lines to right. And we'll join each line with, with a new line. That should be good. Unwrap. Okay, now if we run this, uh, CR is just an alias I have for cargo run. If we run this with cargo run, we should get output.ts with these types in it. So there's output.ts was just generated really fast. And you'll see that it's using the types we had defined in Rust, but now it's in TypeScript syntax. So that's really cool. And they're even connected together, as you can see with this enum field here. Now, a couple of the things I want to show you. First of all, you can rename fields, and you can just do that with Seerde, or however you pronounce it. I believe it's Seerde. What is it? Seerde rename, and then just do hair color. Now, if I run this again, go away, VTSLS error. Nobody cares. You'll see that it was, well, maybe <laughs> it's, it's very subtle, but I changed it to camo case well, uh, using that using this right here. I was really excited to try the Specta Zod library because I looked on GitHub. So I went, I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm going to reproduce this so you relive the, the pain I just went through. I did cargo add Specta Zod. And notice it's v0.0.0. .0 that should clue you in on something. And if we, if we just try to use it, I'll do use Specta Zod up here. And then open this up. You'll see it just says coming soon. But this is in uh, development. I'll show you that in a second. On the repo, if we go to Specta Zod package, you see it was updated last month. I'm going to show you that they have 0, 0.0.1 listed with some actual source code in this. So you could probably pull this and try it. It might it might work. I didn't go that far, but just keep that in mind. A lot of this is new stuff. There are a couple of use cases I can see this being really helpful in. One use case is if you're building an SDK in a certain language or something and you want to pull Rust types from like a backend service you have. Another use case I can see is very related, which is if you have a Rust backend and maybe a TypeScript front end in the same project, hint, hint, Tari, uh, you could use those Rust types directly into that. And actually, speaking of Tari, they do have this Tari Specta package. So check that out if you're using that tech stack. Finally, something that would help me with my channel is if you could offer feedback on one of two approaches with code. So in this video, I wrote the code basically from scratch, and I would be curious to know if you prefer that approach where we walk through it together in the video, or if you'd prefer to see the code already written and we just talk through it and step through it. If you could let me know which of those you prefer, that'd be really helpful for me to produce content that's the most valuable.